Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Safe Pal wallet because recently they have implemented Caspa. Now, the specific Safe Pal wallet I'm going to be reviewing is the X1. And this is because the X1 is the first open source Bluetooth hardware wallet by Safe Pal. SafePal has other products, but they are not fully open source. And so I'm not really interested in reviewing any more wallets unless they are fully open source. And if you want to look into the code, you can go to their GitHub right here and they have the SafePal X1, which is a public GitHub. And you are able to go ahead and look into the code and see how everything works there. You can also see that it's currently going for about $70 here. And if we scroll down and look at the specs of what the SafePal has, you could see here that it has USB-C support. You can see here that they also support Bluetooth, which is gonna be the main way you interact with the SafePal device is gonna be connecting to your phone with the app through Bluetooth. It has a secure chip that is CCEAL5+. It has SafePal app and a SafePal extension. And then the display is not that big, but it is a good decent size it has good battery life and this is the housing material it's basically feels very very light it's not really that heavy at all and this is pretty much what it looks like right here and so recently you can see here that on august 21st they went ahead and added support for the caspa network now i just want to clarify that even though that this is open source i don't have anyone from the caspa community that has pretty much verified the code usually coder stuff takes a look at this but he has not yet but i still have gotten this wallet and tested caspa myself on it and it actually works really really well and the great thing about this is the fact that there is no blind signing uh, when you do send caspa to another address you are able to verify the address that you are viewing on your phone screen is matching with the address that is viewing on your SafePal device. And so that's a really good positive thing when you're comparing it to something like OneKey because OneKey has the blind signing issue still. Um, but something that both SafePal and OneKey lack is the fee feature, the RBF fee feature to adjust fees when the network gets a little bit more congested you pretty much need to raise the fees a little bit higher so that your transaction can go through and currently as of recording SafePal does not support this adjust fee feature but i'm pretty sure they're going to be implementing it soon and i will try to reach out to them if they don't implement it anytime soon i'm going to hopefully make sure that they do get that updated but nonetheless SafePal is good for just basically keeping your caspa and holding it long term and so other than that flaw i think the only other flaw that i found with this wallet is the fact that you can't have multiple addresses you can only create one caspa address and then that is it so that's pretty much the two things i disliked about it was the fact that you can only have one address and there is no adjust fee feature but other than that it's a really decent wallet. It works as intended. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the review of how to set this thing up. All right, so when you first get this product, it's gonna come in this box right here. And once you get this thing open, there's gonna be two items inside. This right here is gonna hold your USB to USB-C cable. And then this right here is gonna be a little packet here that holds all of these items in it there's going to be two stickers in there there's going to be a cloth to be able to clean your screen and some qr codes to get some help and then also some papers here so that you can actually put down your seed phrase and so this is all that you're going to get in the box and then this is the SafePal X1. And so to turn this thing on, you're going to go ahead and hold down the power button right here. The way you're going to navigate through this device is by using the down button right here. There's an up button on the five, seven is to the left and nine is to the right. And this is also going to be your back button. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this into the camera here so that it can actually get better focus and we can go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my language to start and then it's going to say add a wallet to start your crypto journey so i'm going to click ok and then it's going to give you the option to either create a new wallet or recover my wallet so i'm going to go ahead and start with creating a new wallet and then you're going to have the option to click create now and then you're going to be able to choose the number of words so you can choose 24 
12 or 18. I'm just going to go ahead and choose 12. Then once you choose whichever amount of words you have, it's going to show you the words on the screen here. So obviously don't use these words. This address is going to be completely compromised now. I'm just going to show this for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and write down the 12 words on this piece of paper, and then I'll get back to you once I've done that. All right, so once you write down your 12 words, you're going to just hit OK, and then you're going to have to verify your seed phrase. And to do that, it's just going to go through each word, give you a set of options to choose from, and you just got to choose correctly the word in the right order. And then I'll be back once I do that. All right, so I verified the seed phrase, and now it's just going to tell me to please keep the seed phrase safe. And I'm just going to click OK, and then it's going to ask you to set a digit pin code and I'm just going to click OK. Now the device won't let you choose something that's like very basic or simple. So you can't just use like a repetitive set of numbers. It's going to force you to try to pick something that is a little bit more unique. So I'm going to go ahead and put something in random here. Then it's going to let you name your wallet. And so I'm just going to go ahead and name this wallet Cass. All right. And then I'm going to confirm this as the name. And then it says your wallet is ready to use. Please add it to the SafePal app. So that is how we're going to be interacting with this wallet is by downloading the SafePal app on your iPhone or Android. But first, I just want to walk you through what's on the device itself. So to start, you have a place where you can choose the asset that you want to look into so here to start you're going to have a couple cryptocurrencies that are already on the device but you're going to see that caspa is not yet on the device and so to add caspa we're going to have to actually download the new firmware that has caspa onto this device to download a new firmware is going to be in that settings option and here you're going to be able to look at your passphrase and change it if you need to you're also going to be able to verify your seed phrase you can also set the time where the device goes to sleep and also has an auto off timer and then you can change your pin change the language change the brightness you can also have a setting for multiple addresses now this does say it's for utx based networks addresses can be switched between multiple and single modes but unfortunately this does not support caspa and so you really can't do anything with that and then you have the option to either turn off or turn on the bluetooth upgrade your device which is what we're going to be doing here soon reset the wallet and then a place to go download the app and also, you have the option to go to the about to see more information about your device. So now we're going to go ahead and upgrade this device to support Caspa. OK, so we're back at the computer here. And so this is the website that you need to go to safepal.com forward slash en forward slash upgrade forward slash x1. And then you're going to be able to download the latest version. Now, before you do that, you need to enter the SN code that is on your device and to view the device sn you have to go to the settings of the safe power wallet and then go to about and then when you go to about you'll have something that's called sn and you're going to want to enter that in to this right here so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then click search and then it will actually give you a file to download. All right, so once you enter that in and click search, it's just gonna give you the option to go ahead and download the version. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this into our desktop. So I have what I just downloaded here on my desktop. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is connect your SafePal device directly into your laptop or computer. All right, so once you connect your device to your laptop or computer, you're gonna to wanna to go to the settings again and click upgrade. And then once you click upgrade, you're just going to hit OK right here. And then you're going to click OK one more time. So once you connect the device, your device should be readable on your computer. And then all you're going to want to do is simply just copy what you downloaded to your desktop onto the wallet. And then once it's in there, you're going to go back to your device. And then we're just going to go ahead and click OK here. And it's going to say checking. And then it's going to see the new firmware. And then you're just going to go ahead and click OK. And then it's going to ask for the pin and then hit OK. And then it's going to start the upgrade. All right. And now the rest of the steps are going to be through the SafePal app so that you can now add Caspa to the device. So I have my phone here. And what you're going to want to do is download the SafePal app. And once you do download that, you're going to go ahead and choose the wallet that you want to create so obviously we have a hardware wallet so you're going to want to go ahead and click the hardware wallet option and it's going to ask you for which one you're going to choose the safepal x1 
and then it's going to be connected to Bluetooth. So now you're just simply going to make sure that your SafePal is currently on and then you're going to just want to click start connection. Once you click that, the available devices should show up and this right here is the one that I have currently and then it's going to try to connect to your SafePal. So you're just going to go ahead and click OK on your SafePal device and then your SafePal device is going to ask for your PIN. Once you put your PIN in, it's going to connect your device to your phone and then now you can just go ahead and exit out of this and then we can just click the search right here and look for CASPA. Then you're going to want to click add CASPA and then you can go ahead and click the plus icon right there for CASPA. You're just going to click continue. And then on your SafePal device, it's going to ask for your pin once again. Now, if you go back to your wallet and view the list of coins, you should be able to see CASPA. So you're going to have the ability to swap, receive and send with this app. Now, when I click the swap feature here, it looks like it's using Changely as the provider. And I do know that this does support CASPA. So these swaps should work on here. I've never used it myself personally. And then you obviously have the receive address right here. And then you could choose to send caspa to another address safepal also lets you view some market data so you can get some news you can actually look at the charts and all this kind of other stuff on here so there's a lot of features that this app does provide but unfortunately caspa is not able to be created with multiple addresses you only do just get one address i actually tried to add another wallet that is linked to the same seed phrase to see if you can have more caspa addresses and it does let you do this but it just doesn't work for caspa so if you do click on the very top here to view your wallets you can click on the hamburger icon right here and then you're going to go and click create account and if you click create account, it says a new account will be generated based on the seed phrase of your wallet. This kind of account can only manage assets on EVM powered networks such as Ethereum, BNB Smart Chain, AVAX Chain, etc. And if I click create here, it does create a, another wallet that is linked to the same seed phrase. But unfortunately, you cannot have Caspa on this. If I search for Caspa and click to add it, you can only add the wrapped versions of caspa unfortunately so you cannot have more than one address for this wallet but other than that this wallet is a very good alternative to keeping your caspa on an exchange of course this is completely offline off exchanges you have your own seed phrase so you can actually self custody your caspa so I am personally using this wallet to store some of my Caspa. Um, I do personally like to separate my Caspa with different wallets and have different wallets dedicated for different uses of what I want to use Caspa for. SafePal is a good option. And if you guys are interested in getting yourself one, you can click the link down below. There's actually no commission tied to this to me. So if you do click the link, I don't receive anything in return i am just simply reviewing this because it does support caspa and i would like other people to have different options to choosing where they want to keep their caspa and store it and self-custody it for themselves so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and as always don't be average be different